What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Crow on Brawl Ball Pinhole Punt. Now many people think that Crow is probably the worst brawler in the game and is just straight terrible, but actually a lot of us at the top community think he's really not that bad. Now he does have counters such as Pam, Nita, uh, Barley even, not really Barley too much, but even Barley now who's supposed to be Crow, whose Crow is supposed to be able to counter, can counter Crow now. You can see Jesse countering Crow, you see a lot of the top meta brawlers are now countering Crow. But on this map, Pinhole Putt, you're not going to see too many of those brawlers. So Crow, I think, is going to be a really lethal weapon. Now, I have grinded Crow a little bit. I'm up like 40 trophies on him so far. So let's hop into a few games and let's see if we can continue being effective with Crow in Brawl Ball or if it's just a little bit of luck and we're not really facing any good teams as of late. Let's get into it. So here we go, guys, into the first game. So we're going to be facing Jewel the Mortis, a Primo, and a Dynamite. Now, we already know Crow does really, really well against the Dynamite. So that's going to be really easy. You're not going to see too many Dynamikes in Brawl Ball, though. So I wouldn't count on facing too many of them. So let's talk about what you want to do with Crow in Brawl Ball. So as you guys know, Crow's kind of a squishier brawler. So you're not going to be doing a ton, a ton of damage with him. What, you want to, what you're going to be wanting to do is kind of just sit back and continuously poke and just wear brawlers down. Now we do have a Gene on our team, which is also really good at that. So you don't have too much damage. So I wouldn't recommend using this exact comp. But just do what I'm doing over here, just chipping down brawlers, not going too far up. We're going to dodge that jump by the Primo over there. We're going to be able to take out the mic while doing so. We're also going to be able to take out this Primo. We're going to pass it up over here to Master Froggy. Hopefully you can get it in in time. And that is a 1-0 lead for us so far with a minute and 40 left in the game. Now, same thing. We're just going to continuously chip. Now, we don't really see the Primo. There he is. So just going to continuously chip. Now, one thing you can do, as you guys know, you can primo jump to score goals. You can do that with crow. You can kind of just crow jump to score goals. And I'm going to try and show you guys that. We didn't get, we weren't able to get any of that in the first game. As you guys saw, though, that was a quick, easy win. They aren't too good, though. Like, their trophies aren't that high. They're not all max level, so this was kind of an easier game. But we're going to try, try and show you guys some really advanced crow plays on this map. And hopefully you guys will learn how to play crow and be able to grind crow. Because apparently a lot of you guys are really, really struggling with that. So let's continue and get into the second game. So here we go into the second game. Now we're going to be facing a Primo, a Rico, and a Bow. Now also another odd comp. So what we're going to do basically is just continuously chip, try and get all of them low. You don't really want to focus on one brawler. You want to kind of focus on them all. This is going to be a little bit tough. Good pull by Brayden over there. Again, you don't want to focus on just one brawler. You want to continuously chip every single one. I don't think there's anyone in this grass. Yeah. So we're going to hit that Primo over there. We're going to see if we can get that Crow jump. I'm going to put that right there. Get that jump and put it right in the net. So it's exactly like a Primo, except you're not able to break any walls. You just want to jump on each side of the net, whichever one is open, and then put it in. Now, this Primo does have super, so he's going to do the Primo jump, but we are able to wear him down along with Master Froggy, so he is going to die. This bow is going to be really low, so we're going to get on that. We're going to poke this Rico. It's really essential to continuously poke as many Brawlers as possible, just so that they struggle with healing. Let's see where they're all spawning. Just going to do a jump right here. We're able to get the ball and we're going to put it right in the net just because the Rico is walking in. That's going to be another quick one minute game. We, sh we showed you guys the Crow jump there. So that's something advanced that you guys can do with Crow. Try and do that. Practice that. It's super, super good. Let's continue playing and hopefully we can face a really strong team so we can show you guys the true strength of Crow. Let's get into the third game. So here we go into the third game. Now we're going to be facing a tankier kind of comp and we're actually facing a Pam which is Crow's direct counter, and Pam being the strongest, strongest brawler in the current meta, we're going to show you how to just kind of avoid her. So what you want to do, again, hit every single brawler, and just try and wear them down. You don't really have to run too much forward, we're going to go a little bit forward over there. Good pull by Brayden, so we're going to go with the Crow jump, and we're going to put it right in the net, as well as killing the Pam, which is going to recharge our super. So that's 25 seconds in, we already have a goal. All we really did was sit back and try and hit all three brawlers and just charge our super until we got our jump. So we're going to just continue doing that. Tried to pass the ball forward, except I didn't have a shot. Good play by Brayden and by Master Froggy to not to make sure that they don't score a goal. Now there is a Tara somewhere in here. There we go. So again, the Pam on us, that's our biggest counter. So we do want to stay on the opposite side of the Pam. So let's go over here. Good pull right over there by Brayden. 
We're gonna go for the crow jump. We're gonna be able to kill. We weren't able to score, but we were able to kill. Let's see if we can get a trick shot on this Pam. No, we missed. It's a bit awkward. We're gonna do a bit of juking, but we're gonna die. Because again, although you can be a good player and the other person can be a bad player, Pam's effect on crow, it's, it's just so much. There's just so much like overpoweredness in Pam and it's just so easy of a counter. It's just unreal. So Pam's gonna play it up. We're gonna see if we can take that ball. We are able to. There's nothing we can do though. They did triple team us. Maybe we should have been a bit more sneaky. I was hoping there was gonna be an available spot for us to be able to uh, crow jump, but apparently not. Looks like Master Froggy is going to go down. Maybe not. He's actually able to stay alive and kill their Pam. So we're trying to make a move here. Let's go with the crow jump. Damn, we almost had it, but we died super fast. We did land on two of them though, so we have them both really low. I guess the tar is just going to walk it into our own net. That's that's a bit odd. So that's three games right there. This one was a little bit harder, but we're still winning with pretty much very good ease. I don't think they've even scored on us yet in these three games. So we're going to continue playing. We're probably going to do two or three more games. And we're going to see if we can continuously dominate with Crow on this map. Or if we're just continuously getting lucky with our last few matchups. So here we go into the fourth game here. Now we're going to be facing a Penny, a Mortis, and a Shelly. Let's see what we can do here. Gonna hit that shot. We don't really want to be holding the ball. We want to be able to tag everyone. So we're gonna let go of the ball and give it to Brayden over there. He probably will be able to score. He's gonna go for the trick shot. He is gonna miss. The trick shot wasn't really necessary, but he's feeling confident this game, so why not go for it? We're gonna see if we can slide that in. No, we weren't able to, but we're able to kill the crow. Oh, how do we miss that? Would... That's a shame. Let's see, Master Froggy. No, we're we're just missing over here. Looks like the Mortis is going to go down. We don't really have the health to go for a goal right now. Let's see what we can do. Oh my god, we did get hit by that shot. We are in range of the Shelly, so that's really unfortunate right there. Let's see what we can do. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. They're, they're doing better than the other teams, but I think it's more us just messing around than them really performing too well. We're going to pass it up. Good pull by Braden. We're probably going to be able to shoot that one in. Didn't even realize that was there. I wouldn't have auto-aimed. Big yak. Let's try not to get hit by those bats. We avoided it. Let's see if we can tag that Mortis. We are going to be able to get that tag off. Let's jump right on the ball. We landed directly on the Penny right there. Looks like Master Froggy is going to be able to super that in. So good for a school over there. And we actually did do a lot of damage after a jump. So we're going to be super close to our super. Yeah. We're very close. So we're going to pick it up. Do that crow jump that we've been doing. Get that off. And there we go. That's a goal. Four straight wins, and we're really excelling with Crow. We got the star player. Let's continuously dominate. Let's keep going and see if we can go 6-0 with Crow. So here we go into the fifth game. It looks like we're going to be facing that same Dynamite that we have before. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to continuously chip them get them low we shouldn't be ignoring the the uh the primo just because our team comp does have low damage per second so we can't really ignore them and let them grab the ball so we grabbed it passed it off to brayden and brayden was able to get that goal let's see if we can get that crow jump working yeah it looks like there's an open lane over there so we're just gonna jump we did over commit a little but we were still able to get the goal that's a quick, 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 like 30 second game. We're able to get star player. Now let's see if we can go one more game, get the win and continuously keep dominating the competition. So here we go into the sixth and final game. Now this is probably gonna be our best competition of the video, Jinzo and Senza, who both I think used to be top 10 players, at least on leaderboards. Oh, I don't know why that didn't go for the Shelly. So this is definitely gonna be a tougher one. We got Jinzo on Primo, which is a brawler that does counter Crow in this mode at least. So that's going to be definitely tougher. We're going to see if Brayden can pull the Shelly. Yep, and that's an easy goal. Good play by Brayden to get that pull off, which led to us having an open net for the easy goal. Now let's keep going for the Shelly. All right, we're able to take out the Shelly. We need one more hit for Super. We're going to see if we can bait something. There we go, we got that hit. Master Froggy's gonna send us the ball. We're gonna go for that crow jump. Oh, we almost had it. That was a really good save by Senza. Let's continuously chip. The 
Hopefully we can get a shot off over here. We're going to juke a little bit. We are going to go down. That was a tough one. I probably shouldn't have went for that. I probably should have just backed off. We are going to spawn. I feel like they have a little bit of pressure coming towards us. Yeah. There's a Colt. Okay, Crow jump up here. Let's see if we can get a shot off. Let's slide that in. There we go. Great goal over there. That's going to be six games, six dubs. Amazing gameplay with the Crow. This this is going to show you guys that, you know, Crow really isn't that underpowered. It's just sometimes you can get a really bad matchup against like spawners or something and Crow just becomes ineffective. But as a brawler alone, Crow really isn't bad and to be honest doesn't really need a buff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Crow gameplay. Last time I spoke about Crow, you guys really liked it. So I thought, why not do it again? Anyways, you guys already know, like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And if not, leave it in the comments what you guys want to see me do and I'll make sure I get around to it. With that being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. This is for today. Peace.